Look at this clown, man. <laughs> He's a pro-black, man. He couldn't find a black woman in the whole world, man. Ain't if I could see a nigga that's a bus driver having a hard time finding a black wife. <laughs> a nigga that's a goddamn trash man or something. He, this nigga, international seeing sensation, man. He couldn't find a black wife. <laughs> God damn, man. You a singing sensation, man. But he found time to talk about Donald Trump. He's made it clear throughout his life that he believes black people are inferior. Mm -hmm. uh, like he believes you projecting, man. That's why you married that goddamn Filipino woman. That's why you married that Asian woman, man. That's why you married that Asian woman, you clown. You goddamn clown. You little clowny man. Every time you get a chance, a mic in your face, you talking some extra pro-black bullshit. With your black wife and your black family, man. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> man, hell, where your black wife and your black family at, man? Nigga try to take the easy way out. He trying to um, he trying to be extra extra black with the book without having to have a black wife and a black family. <laughs> he just gonna be he gonna be extra black and shit. He gonna out black everybody in every other way. <laughs> He gonna out black everybody in every other way except for having a black wife and a black family. <laughs> he got tents, he got rims, <laughs> but he ain't got no engine under the hood. <laughs> He got everything except for what he need to be pro-black. Let me tell you something, John Legend, man. John, man, every time they put a mic in your face, you crying about race slavery or talking about some white man racist. Hey, man, if you want to be pro-black, just find a black wife and make a black family, man. That's all you have to do, man. All this extra shit, man. It's stupid, man. He's made it clear throughout his life that he believes black people are inferior. Mm -hmm. uh, like he believes that to his core, in his bones. He then why didn't you make any black babies? You are a rich black man. You could have made a bunch of black babies and had them living in wealth and prosperity. Your black babies could have went to private school. <laughs> Your black babies could have lived in a gated community. Your black babies could have had been eating eating um that expensive sherbet, not even ice cream sherbet. Your black babies could have been going to camp and shit with the rich kids and shit instead of going to the hood camp, man. Nah, man, you want to have a bunch of goddamn Asian babies, man. Which is fine. If you wasn't always talking shit about racism and slavery and everybody racist and everybody think black people inferior, all that shit would be fine. Press one. If you wasn't talking about slavery and this white person racist and this white person think black people are inferior. He's made it clear throughout his life that he believes black people are inferior. Mm -hmm. uh, like he believes that to his core, in his bones, he wouldn't let us live in his buildings. Uh, back. Uh, that was one black lady, one fat black lady with a, a 50, 11 kids who didn't pay her rent and got put out. See, John, 
And I know you own property, John. My stepfather owned a lot of property. He was always in housing court, man. Because some damn black woman with 50, 11 kids sued him. See, what they do, they don't pay rent. They tear up your house. And then when you try to get them out, they they, they, they sue you and say, uh, on January such and such, 2000 such and such, uh, I called him to fix the sink. And, it, and he didn't come and fix the sink for a week. Or I called him to fix the toilet. And he didn't. So then they sue you. Even though they tore your house up and ain't pay no rent for half the damn time. They sue you, John. You know that. So that fat black lady that sued Trump happens to black people all the time. Black people that own property all the time, man. Back in the day. But also, uh, when you hear some of the stray comments he makes, he clearly believes in a genetic hierarchy. Oh, genetic hierarchy. Well, you ain't got to worry about that. Your genes is washed, man. Press one. John, you you God put some tide um all oh, he put all oh, and he put some goddamn <laughs> my man put some goddamn downy um <laughs> on his jeans, man. You good, John. You ain't gotta worry about jeans, man. Your jeans is good, man. <laughs> John jeans good, man. His kids will have to marry goddamn. His kids will have to marry. Yo, his kids will have to go to the Sudan, man. <laughs> and find a wife to, to get the black back in their family, man, as much as he washed his jeans, man. His kids will have to his kids will have to have to um find a purple spouse. <laughs> They get the black back of their jeans, man. This spouse is going to, have to be purple to get the black back in the jeans. The way you don't wash your jeans, your genetics, John, <laughs> fucking clown, man, weirdo, goofball. <laughs> he believes that to his core, in his bones. He wouldn't let us live in his buildings uh, back in the day. But also, uh, when you hear some of the stray comments he makes, he clearly believes in a genetic hierarchy mm -hmm. of humanity and, and, and is racially uh, uh, determined. Uh, so he is a tried and You would think he knew this person. Who, uh, like, you would think he was like, you would think this was like his best friend and they fell out. He talking like he was best friends with Donald Trump for years and they fell out and now he exposed them. <laughs> This motherfucker never had a conversation with Donald Trump. <laughs> Yo, these people are clowns, man. But he did say something right here. I want to. I want to talk about man. He said something right here, man. When you hear uh, some of the stray comments he makes, he oh, stray comments. Allow me to retort. <laughs> stray comments. So you. So so. Let's get this straight, guys. John Legend is concerned about stray comments. Press one. John Legend, stray comments are a huge deal breaker. You know, any stray comments, you know, that could be perceived as racist, a huge deal breaker. Okay, John. All right. Not a racist bone in my body. I've been involved in civil rights my whole career. He's going to let the big banks once again write their own rules. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. Biden sought and received support from Mississippi Senator James Eastland, the Democratic chairman of the Judiciary Committee and a leading symbol of Southern resistance to desegregation. He frequently spoke of blacks as, quote, an inferior race. I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African-American yeah. who is articulate and bright and 
and a clean, nice looking guy. I mean, it's that's a story, man. Yo, yo, what? This dude said Obama was the first. Yo, yo. John, John, John is concerned about straight comments, y'all. So anybody, somebody tag John Legend, man. Anybody got John Legend's um Twitter handle, man? His X handle. Somebody tag that little um weirdo, man. He said, uh <laughs> He says straight comments is a deal breaker. You make a straight comment about black folk, uh, it's a deal breaker. Can't can't f with you no more, man. We done. <laughs> and I'm gonna um, talk trash about you every chance I get. All right. So Biden said, I mean, speaking of Obama, you got the first. <laughs> The first mainstream African American who is articulate and bright. If he had stopped right there, if he had stopped right there, that's that's a straight comment. If he had stopped right there, if he had not said another word. A lot of Negroes would have socked them in the face. Angry black guy on the New York subway. Subway would have socked him in his face for saying that shit. Press one. Angry black guy on the New York subway would have socked Biden in his face for saying that shit. <laughs> And clean and nice looking. 90% of black dudes would have socked him in his eye and probably knocked some of his teeth out. But then if he went on and said, I mean, that's a storybook. <laughs> Yo, do you realize he said a, a mainstream African-American being articulate, bright and clean and nice looking is something out of a storybook. <laughs> the Democratic Chairman of the Judiciary Committee and a leading symbol of Southern resistance to desegregation. He frequently spoke of blacks as, quote, an inferior race. I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and clean and nice looking. I mean, it's, that's a shit. Not only did blacks vote for him, not only did blacks vote for him. But the so-called black guy that he was talking about, not only did black people vote for Biden, 90%, but the black guy, quote, unquote, that he was actually talking about made him his vice president, press one. The black guy who he was talking about made him his vice president. Sure. Senator Obama released a statement saying, quote, I didn't take Senator Biden's comments personally, but obviously they were historically inaccurate. You cannot go to a...
Yo, Obama said he didn't take them personally. You didn't take that personally? Well, God, what would you, yo, what would you have to say to this guy for him to take it personally? Think about it. If he didn't take that personally, what would you have to say to this guy to make him, he said he took it 50% personally. <laughs> what would you have to say to this guy for him to take it personally? <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo, man. And then, look, he went on to list a bunch of black people that he considered clean and bright and articulate. <laughs> Think about that. Not only did Obama say, hey, man, I, I don't take that personally. But he said, hey, man, here's a list of some other black people that are actually that are also clean and <laughs> they're also clean and bright and articulate. <laughs> he said, hey, um, Joe, you got it all wrong. I'm not the only bright and clean and articulate black person. You also got so and so, so and so, and so and so. <laughs> he named two people, man. That's worse, Obama. So, so basically, you're saying it's only three, man. So basically, you saying it's three, man. That's worse, man. That's worse. So that's worse, man. That's worse, man. Oh man. They were historically inaccurate. You cannot go to a 7 Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. The I'm not joking. The senators that he is speaking of with such adoration are individuals who made and built their reputation on segregation. The Ku Klux Klan celebrated the election of one. So this is a very serious matter. Poor kids are just as bright and just Towns white kids. And you don't know my state. My state was a slim state. Yeah, Johnny. John Legend, man. He clearly believes in a genetic hierarchy mm -hmm. of humanity and, and, and is racially uh, uh, determined. Uh, so he is a tried and true, uh, like, dyed in the wool racist. Like, in his the core of his being, he's a racist. So I don't want to hear what he has to say about uh, what he's done for black people. He's done very little for us. And uh, he is his core, truly, truly a racist. And uh, you even hear what he says about immigration and which countries he wants people to come in from. Uh, they all are very white. <laughs> that is true. That's uh No comment, man. Just the fact that he's not talking about Biden is the crazy part, man. <laughs>